Thank you. That was wonderful. The First Baptist Women's Ministry is organizing a visit to the new assisted living home. Anyone interested, see David Nance to sign up. Stand up, David. What would we do without you, Mrs. Nance? Reverend Hayden. Don't wear yourself out with too much volunteering, Davy. You need to rest. Okay. If I'm late, I want my dad I had to run a few errands. I'm not your messenger service, Lucy. Could you bring me a six-pack? Yeah, hold, hold on a second. Thank God you're here. Hey, Danielle. Woo! Oh! And to make a bad day even worse, the daycare dropped Isaac off. He's got a fever. Oh, poor baby. Hey, could you just stay with Mr. Arendal until Isaac comes? Sure. You go get this sweet thing well. This always happens right before my day off. Mr. Arendal! Davy Nance is here to see you. Hi, Mr. Arendal. How are you today? I've been better. Davy's gonna stay with you till Eliza comes. I gotta go. What do you got? <laughs> we got pot roast and rice with tomato onion gravy, green beans, fresh from my garden, macaroni and cheese, homemade biscuits. Mm. Bon appetit. That damn dog will eat anything. Mr. Arendal. That dog has been long gone and dead for years. Damn girl can't fix anything but a grilled cheese sandwich. That's because she's a nurse, not a cook. She's nothing but a state licensed ass wiper. <laughs> Would you like me to say a blessing? Yeah, make it fast. Oh, Lord. For this thy bounty, we are grateful. And humbly request that you do a miracle and teach the ass wiper how to cook a pot roast like Mrs. Davy Nance. Amen. How are you for sheets? Clean? Uh, you better check upstairs. The ass wiper was taking a nap this morning while I was stuck in the tub yelling for help. Grandson, he's staying with us for a while. He should have told me. That wasn't funny. It was if he was naked. Well, he wasn't. Completely. Too bad. That's Liza. You tell your grandson I'm sorry for waking him. Bring me the leftovers. Hi. Hi. 
already had lunch. Oh, thanks, sweetie. Where's Danielle? Well, Isaac's sick, so I filled in. Mm. Been a lot of that going on lately. Mm. Well, having a newborn isn't easy. Could help if she had a husband. <laughs> um, <laughs> how you feeling? Any morning sickness? A little. That's good. <laughs> that means your hormone levels are high. This one's gonna stick. <laughs> you take care. See you later. Mom and Dad. Mr. Arundel. Yama? God, I love you. Morning. Morning. What did you sneak off to last night? Couldn't sleep. Oh. Hi, Paul. Hey. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Coffee. I gotta get to work. Hey, talk to her. Go. I got it covered. It's okay. No, it's not. I'll fix you some breakfast. Just some toast. What would you think? Eggs quarantine. burrito casserole from Nancy, chicken and broccoli casserole from Paula, chicken tetrazzini from Luann, and of course the usual four cans and a cup from me, my favorite, not one single fresh ingredient. You know how I feel about the tetrazzini. Bad. Nauseating. She made it for me after I had my appendix out. <laughs> okay, toss it. Gone. Ugh. Go ahead and write her the note. Tell her we ate it right off, like first thing. 
hate thank you notes. I'll help you after lunch. I'll make a pitcher of margaritas and we'll have happy hour or mildly depressed hour. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm talking too much. Sorry. You know, I don't even know how I'm feeling. I'm beyond sad. You know, with the others, it was like, well, okay, we'll just try again. This time, I don't know. I don't think I can do it again. And you don't have to. I mean, you don't have to decide right now. You just need some time. I wish I could wave my magic wand and give you a baby. I'm pretty sure a magic wand comes with that outfit. What? You don't like this? Magical. <laughs> <laughs> We just make out. <laughs> yeah. That's what you said at the prom. <laughs> just kiss me. Soon, I promise. It's okay. It's Supper, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Mr. Arendal was asking for pork, so I made a tenderloin. Oh. Right. Okay, I will see you in a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Mm Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. You need some help with that? No, thanks. I got it. I have so much food at home. I hate for Mr. Arendal to depend on Danielle and Liza for his meals. I'm Davey. By the way, I'm from across the street. I'm Clay. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you. Again. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so where are you, uh, you live across the street? Yeah. What do you do? Um, between jobs right now. Yeah, so am I. So it's nice you're visiting your grandfather. Yeah, I didn't really get a chance to spend much time with him growing up, so. Oh. Two of you seem to be pretty close, though, right? Oh, yeah, he's the best. Yeah. 
once you get beneath that crusty outer shell. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the crusty inner shell. Feed him. Keeps him friendly. Yeah, well, I can't cook, so. Well, I'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That'll help. You want a beer? Um, no thanks. Yeah, nurse turned me down too. The ladies are starting to make me feel bad. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. So what's good for fun around here? The river. If you fish your boat. I fish, a little bit. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> What about you? What do you do for fun? I, um, volunteer. Yeah? <laughs> that's, that's fun? Yeah. I enjoy it. <sighs> so, thanks. And, um... So, the uh, salad in the pie or in the uh, fridge, and then the other things will keep warm in the oven until okay. you're ready to All eat. Right. All right. <laughs> Paul? There she is. You are just in time. What is this? It's a picnic, baby. <laughs> mm. You are so cool. I am totally cool. Yeah. Mm. Mm, I want pizza. Okay. Those are the emergency candles for when the electricity goes off. These are working just fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're nice. You're nice. You are so nice. And you smell nice, too. Yeah. Like pepperoni and beer. Mm. What, Davey, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. What? Tell me. I just don't want to. You know, at some point, we're going to have to if you want to have a baby. I know. <laughs> or, Davy, we saved up plenty of money to adopt. Let's call the lawyer tomorrow and tell him that we are ready. I don't want to adopt. You want to go through this again? Maybe we won't have to. Davy, we can adopt a baby. I'm not ready to give up. What else is it going to take? How many times am I going to have to watch my wife get her hopes up and then come crashing down? Oh, well, I'm sorry that you've had to watch it. But I've had to live it. You have no idea how horrible it is. I mean, the one thing that I should be able to do as a woman, I can't do. So stop. What if the next time I get pregnant, that's the one that's meant to be a baby? What if it just isn't meant to be? Maybe this is God closing a door. You know what? I don't care what you do with the money. Give it away. Spend it, I don't care. I am not giving up. You okay? You want to help? Are you 
you, uh, you have a fight with your husband? So how'd you get that? Um, he didn't do that to me, if that's what you're thinking. I was in the hospital. It's from the IV. Just being a good, concerned citizen, that's all. You don't want to talk about it. It's okay. I understand. You had a procedure done. You don't want anybody to find out about it. That was all the time. So what'd you have done? Because obviously it wasn't. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. I'll see you later. Hey. Hi. Want some more? Sure. Okay. Did you get any sleep? Some. Good. Uh, let's go to Atlanta this weekend. A little baseball game. Stay in a nice hotel, order a room service. We can't. I'm having a party for the new minister. Oh. You sure you're up to that? I'm fine. Well, let's do something soon, okay? Okay. Good bite. Oh. Yummy. Earth are they starting it early? That bitch can't ride that bull like I can. I have emphysema, you know. Those are my cigarettes you're smoking. Could you hold on a second? Liza's not here till six. I can't leave. Yeah, I'll take her to school. I'll be a little late, probably seven thirty. She don't know what the hell she's doing. Hey. I found this up in my room. Is this yours? No, it was a birthday present for your father a long time ago. Looks brand new. That's because it was returned unopened. You mind? Be my guest. Come down on the target with one smooth motion, then you won't get all shaky when you aim. Yeah? And aim low. Low. Okay. No, lower. Yeah? Smooth and out to your finger now. <laughs> hey! Here you go. Yeah. Time for lunch. Do you want something? Uh, no, thanks. I'll pick something later. Me too. You have to have lunch, Mr. Arendal. It's the doctor's orders. I'll have Davy's leftovers. Unless you ate them already. Yeah. You know, Dad doesn't know I'm here. That's probably best. So what happened between the two of you? Why don't you speak? Well, I'm a bastard, and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. For starters, I was never baptized, so I'm not right with the Lord. Of course, how your mama used to hound me. What would I do if I died today and stood before the judgment throne of God? 
shit my pants, probably. With me, it's a matter of principle. A Jehovah's Witness and the Mormons won't even ring my bell because they know the Baptists have dibs on me. I'd go Methodist just to drive the Baptists crazy, except I hate those brown-nosing bastards just as much. Don't laugh. They'll come after you. I'm baptized already, so... No, it's all about butts in the pews. Yeah. You've been here a day and a half. Mark my words, the good Reverend Hape already knows it. He's going to bring you into his fold. Well, I can try. Oh. 1967 Chevy Camaro 350. Reverend Grayson, there are people in this town who have not yet given their lives to the Lord. Their very souls are on the line. Eternity is at stake. This way. Hello, Danielle. Hi. How's the baby? He's fine. Reverend Grayson and I have come by to pay Mr. Arundel and his grandson a visit. May we come in? They're in the backyard. Have you met Reverend Grayson? No. Reverend Grayson, Danielle Jones. It's Lenmore, not Jones. Danielle Lenmore. I thought you and that Jones boy got married last year. Well, we didn't. Do you go to First Baptist? Um, I used to when I was younger. Oh, well, you should come back. We would love to. Do you have... mind if we walk out? No, I got things to do. It was nice to meet you. Hello! I'm the Reverend Nathan Hate from First Baptist Church. And this is Reverend Grayson, my new associate pastor. Hello. Clay Arundel, Mr. Arundel's grandson? Uh, from the city, we've heard. We just stopped by on our regular visiting rounds to see Mr. Arundel and invite him to church Sunday. We're having a baptism service for anyone interested, anyone at all, because time is short. <laughs> it will be for you if you try to baptize him. Is uh, Mr. Arundel around? No, I believe he is on one of his long walks. Is that your car out front? Yeah. Sweet. You know Camaros? A little. My dad loved them. He used to mess around with the neighbors a little, but he never had one of his own. We're well, welcome to come by any time and take it out. Done. Well, would you tell Mr. Arundel we stopped by? I'll do that. And we'd love to have you visit our congregation this Sunday. We have a warm and welcoming family at First Baptist. Well, I'm a Methodist, though. So. Oh? But I have backslidden like you wouldn't believe. Well, then, we'd love to have you. Our doors are always open, except on Mondays. I will keep that in mind. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fudge is ready. You're going straight to hell. And I'll see you there, ass wiper. Hey there. I want to return this uh, Clay Arendal. Staying with my grandfather? Right, right. Paul Nance. Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. You're uh, Davy's husband. Yeah, she's great. She's, I mean, she's great with my grandfather, really. 
Yeah, that's that's my Davy. So how's she doing? Uh, she seemed a bit upset yesterday evening. She okay? Much better. Yeah. She's fine. Thanks. Well, nice to meet you. You too. Hi. Hi. Can I get you to come to bed? I would, but I'm afraid I'm just going to stare at the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> I met Clay Arendahl today. Oh, you did? Nice guy. Yeah, he is. All right. I want to go to sleep. You have a stick in your hair. Did you roll around in the yard this morning? Um, do you want some toast with this? Yeah, I'll get it. Why don't you get dressed? We're gonna be late. Okay. Good, thanks. Oh, let me help you here. We have lunch at your mom and dad's at the church. Uh-huh. You gonna need me there? <laughs> you trying to get out of it? Oh, no. No, no it's okay. You don't have to go. Oh, for God's what? sakes. <sighs> what is wrong with her? Okay, ready? Just keep looking straight ahead. <sighs> keep looking this way. Here we go. Uh-oh, keep looking. Oh, and the day just keeps getting better. Oh, my gosh. Jay, 
baby. Don't you look great? Don't you look great? Mm. Sweet note you sent. Thanks, Luann. <laughs> hey, Paul. Hey, Luann. Good, Good to see, to see you. you. Mm, you too. Come on. Hey, Sean. Hey, Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Reverend Grayson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Got your work cut out for you. Shall we gather at the river where bright angel feet have trod with its crystal tide forever? Flowing by the throne of God. Who needs to be washed clean from their sin? I invite you to come down front and give your life to Jesus. Be baptized and become God's child, set apart for the victorious and abundant life of the believer. Anyone? Anyone at all on this Sunday morning? It could be your last. We're not guaranteed another day. <coughs> now to him who was able to keep you from stumbling and to make you stand in the presence of his glory blameless. With great joy to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority now and forever. Amen. Noni Munro told me that Olin Arundel's grandson moved in with him. Have you seen him? Mm-hmm. Oh. Is he single? What's the deal with the Arundels? Oh, Lord. You know that Olin, Mr. Arundel, got Charity Mims pregnant right out of high school before they were married. Oh, scandal. We didn't do things like that back then. Well, apparently Olin and Charity did. Well, they got married, but Olin never was a good husband. And Daddy, I don't think Olin Jr. ever came back home after he went away to college. You know we dated a few times, Olin Jr. and I. Well, what happened? The future Mrs. Olin Jr. show her panties and steal your boyfriend? Lucy. Well, isn't that how it happens? You should have showed your panties, Mother. She did. I did not. You did too to me. Mother! Wallace. Oh, Beat the hell out of Olin Jr. on the football field. He was a weenie. Sure you did, Daddy. You passed the corn. And then after the big game, Mother showed her panties and Daddy gave her his letter jacket. Lord, you think we never taught the girl the fifth commandment? Thou shalt not show your panties? Honor thy father and mother. Anyway... Grandson's pretty cute. Hear that, Lucy? Davis found somebody for you. No thanks. I don't want the weenie son. Attention, everyone. I am not interested because I, Lucy Bryant, am engaged. <laughs> to whom, darling? Glenn, Mama. Oh. Goodness. <laughs> Well, you don't have to say yes right away. You can uh, think about it. This is not a Jane Austen novel, Mother. Women don't get 15 proposals. You're not pregnant, are you? No. <laughs> he's got a steady job, and he's good to me. I love him. Well, for him's sake. Please tell me you're happy for me. If you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Daddy? I'm sure he knows a good pair of panties when he sees them, sweetheart. Is that yours? Not that I know of. Hey, baby. Don't hey baby me. What is this? This is our new fishing boat. What have you done? Well, 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 you said you didn't want to adopt and that I could do whatever I wanted to with the money. So I did. Come on, how wanted to get rid of it? I didn't mean go buy a boat. 
You should have made that more clear. You don't even fish. I'll learn. Pull her close. Tell her. I don't know how long I'll be gone. So keep always oil in this lamp. Hey, Davey. Oh. You're like the worst stalker ever. I am, I am not a stalker. <laughs> Please, you've been spying on me for two weeks now. You're like Norman Bates' mother up there in that window. Look at y'all, kitted out in your psycho stalking gear, hiding in my shrubbery. I'm sorry I was spying on you. I just, I have this horrible insomnia lately and I just happened to notice what goes on at 3 a.m. You. <laughs> it's okay, I'm chronic myself. Except for when you're up in the tree house with your makeup on. Space paint. You saw me sleeping up there. We well, look. Very peaceful. It's kind of like reverse psychology on my mind, you know? If I tell myself I'm hunting and I have to stay awake, then I fall asleep. You wanna grab a beer? <laughs> Yay. Yay. There goes all my beer. <laughs> There's nothing left. Yes! That was a good trick there. Okay. The way you busted his balls, priceless, I'm telling you. Eavesdropper. Mm. I'm so glad mm. I could amuse you. We should test it out for him, actually. What do you mean? We should take it out to the river. Now? Yeah. Do you have a boat hitch on your car? <laughs> no. Is Paul? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to take his truck out. I'm pretty sure I'm drunk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <clears throat> oh, then my grandpa has one. Bingo. No, we cannot steal his car. Stealing, you little girly girl. I'm his grandson. That's what grandsons do. They borrow the car. You're totally drunk. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Come on, get in. No. Come on, Miss Daisy. I'm gonna drive, you know? I gotta pee. You gotta make water? No, I gotta pee. You really have to pee. Well, then find a bottle somewhere. Just pee in a bottle. See I don't pee find. in a bottle. Fine. Well, then what's the name of the street at the stop sign? I'll go myself. Fine. Is Paul gonna wake up? No, our bedroom's on the back of the house. He sleeps like a log. <laughs> All right, good. Stay here. You know, you gotta apologize to Paul. For what? For getting him grief about this boat. This is, this is awesome. 
Oh, well, mind your own beeswax. He spent our adoption nest. Yeah, but you said he could. Well, I was mad at the time. He should have known that. Lemon. Anyway, it doesn't matter because <clears throat> I don't want to adopt. I want to get pregnant, have a baby like a normal person. Well, if you had a baby, you couldn't be out here having a beer and looking at the stars. I mean, uh, it's your life, but... What do you have against kids anyway? Nothing. I have nothing against kids. I just think there's a lot of things that you can do with your life besides raise a child. You can travel, you can write a book, start a business, you can... I guess. Drink much? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so you, uh, you want to go for a swim? Oh, no. I do not swim in this river. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. okay, settle down, settle down. Oh. <laughs> You still have makeup all over <laughs> you. It's face paint. Green makeup it's face all paint. over your face. That's the last time I'm going to tell you. Face <laughs> paint. It's accentuating your eyes, but I think we can get it off. I'm gonna get out. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> was my fourth. <laughs> you were my hero. So how you doing? I'm deeply despondent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you seem like it. So what about you? Why did you come here all of a sudden? My wife and I got separated. It's... It's a long story. I, basically, I was homeless for a while, and I just, I couldn't think of anything else. I just wanted, really wanted to see my grandpa, you know? That's good. You're here for him. Seriously, I mean that. Yeah, no, I, I believe it. <sighs> um, so we're having this party on Saturday, <laughs> today, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, you should, you should bring him. He would enjoy getting out. Do that. Okay. I was wanting to talk to you about Davy. Okay. 
she all right? I don't think so. I'm worried about her. I try and talk to her, and all we do is fight. You know, when we first married, her, her mother used to get so mad at me, she'd lock herself in the bathroom and stand at the door, bang on the door, and yell, whine, cry, and carry on. Did me no good. She stayed in there 12 hours once. I'd hand it to her, though. She had follow through. You know, you can't talk them out of a locked bathroom. <laughs> you want to see what she can do? is it? Um, let me put it this way. Remember when I said I'd come over two hours before the party to help? I'm 45 minutes late. Oh, crap. Where's Paul? I don't know. Can you run the vacuum? No problem. Somebody's got to be the responsible one around here. What'd the mechanic say? Yeah. Well, it wasn't the engine. We, uh, <laughs> shut up. Yeah, we ran out of gas. <laughs> what are you doing? Seriously, Paul, what did you do to the boat, man? What happened? Yeah. I, don't I don't know. You wrecked the boat? Yeah, it's, it's at the shop. We'll get it fixed. Okay. Oh, you uh, just slipped under the radar on that one. Sorry, dude. Excuse me. So Paul's going like a bat out of hell, showing off his damn boat. All of a sudden, it stops. Yeah, I guess, you know, it kind of sputters a little bit. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. We'll see what's happening. So, Alex, uh, nice guy, right? Who's Alex? Lucy, come in here. I want you to meet Reverend Grayson. Alex. Come in. You, uh, got any weed? No, 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 I don't. Can't hurt to ask. No. It's cool. How are you, Mr. Arundel? Sober. You enjoying having your grandson in town? I am. You know, the Bible says that uh, grandchildren are a crown to the aged. <laughs> You're blessed that he came to you. talking to you. And what is taking her so long? Lucy! What are you doing? You do not look at me like you're your dog. It's time to go. No, it's not. I'm gonna help David clean up after the party. Why don't you go on home now? Me and Lucy are talking right now, if you don't mind. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you would just go home. Take him. 
What's your problem? I'm minding my own damn business on your porch up here. I'm not causing any trouble. Does it look like I'm causing trouble? You look like you were about to. So I think that, that you'd better do what Davy asks. Well, preach it, brother. Len. Lucy, do you want to come back inside? No, she wouldn't. No, I'm fine. Come on. Hey, hey, didn't your mother teach you any better than that? Oh, you're talking about my mama now? <laughs> I didn't mean anything by that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Break up the fight. I'm not fighting. They're fighting. It looked like you were fighting to me. You blind? You, what, you think I'm a blind man? You want to know what I see? Yeah, what do you see? <laughs> That's my grandson. This is a church party! Okay, enough. We are leaving. Please, please accept my apologies. I don't know what came over me. I, I strive to minister with kindness and compassion. Hey, you kicked ass, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Sure. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What was that all about? I'm not gonna ask you the same thing, am I? What do you mean? Nothing. I'm going inside. Shitty party. Good fight, too. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like cracking a man's jaw, is it? Damn straight. Avery's kind of sweet, isn't she? I'm just saying she's sweet. Her husband beat the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess he did. Grandpa? Grandpa! Come on. Hello? Who is it? It's Clay. Mr. Arendelle got out of the hospital. Yeah, I'll be there in 15 minutes. You know what? You go on to church without me. I'll see you later. Stop, What? No. No, don't go. Paul, I have to. He needs me. Well, I need you. <laughs> Paul, it's not a contest. So in addition to the stroke, they're saying he has Alzheimer's. Danielle's gone AWOL. Agency can't get in contact with her. Everything's gonna be okay. We'll figure it out. I just got here, you know. It's good. Well, I'm gonna go find Danielle, give her a piece of my mind. No, oh, don't even worry about it. You know, the agency will find somebody and send them over. It's fine. Don't leave me. What's wrong? He's back. Good afternoon, all. Hello! Hey. I heard he was home. Uh, mind if I join you? No, not at all. How's he doing? As well as can be expected. 
Do you think he'd come to church next Sunday if you brought him? You can always give him a slaw dog, tell him it's a Braves game. I'd just hate to see him pass without being baptized, you see. I feel it's my duty to search out the lost lambs, round them up, and bring them back in. Like a rodeo. Perhaps you could persuade him. Me? No, no. Why not? You have doubts yourself. Yeah, sure. Don't you? I mean, come on, I'm sure there's some truth behind all the bullshit, but how do you tell the difference, you know? Uh... Oh, goodness, we've woken him. Holy hell, the crowds are on the move. We gotta get them, lads, we gotta get them all. Gouge out their eyes, rip off their arms and legs. Cut out their hearts! Oh, dear. It's okay, Grandpa. It's just the Reverend. Damn goose-stepping son of a bitch. Kill him! He was in the war. It's flashbacks. You know, you, you should probably go. Of course. Good night. Take care. I could use a slow dog right now. <laughs> Davy, what are you doing here? Well, I just had some extra, so I thought I'd bring it by. I tried to call. Yeah, big surprise. My phone got cut off. Was everything all right? Is Isaac sick? Mm, the antibiotics hadn't kicked in yet. Is Mr. Arendal mad? He had a stroke last week. You know, the agency found a replacement for you. I know I shouldn't have just not shown up like that, but you don't understand what my life is like. You know what? It's okay. Nobody was mad. We were just worried. I helped out, and Liza came by. Okay. We worked it out. So, do you want to talk about it? No, nope. I'm okay. Do you want me to take Isaac so you can have a little break? No, it's okay. Danielle, look, I know you're overwhelmed, but... Don't preach to me, Davy. Well, what you got going on over at the Arendal's house. Thank you for the food. What are you doing? Just taking in the view. Are you making a fool of me? No. I know about you and him. On the river. In my boat. Nothing happened. You're sneaking around in the middle of the night with a man you barely know, Davy. We were just having fun. I couldn't sleep, and he couldn't either. Oh, and you two have so much in common. I bet he's kind and understanding and listens attentively to your problems. We're friends. <laughs> and how easy is that, to act like you care about someone when there's that hope just glowing out there in the future that you're going to get them into bed? It's not like that. Of course it is, Davy. Men are men. Women are women. It never changes. Just try 10 years of marriage with him. See how excited he is to hear about your problems. Do you know that every morning when I wake up, I'm scared to get out of bed? You're depressed. No, I'm not. I'm tired. Well, you can't stop trying. Oh, is that what your book says? Because it's wrong. I can. I can stop trying if I want to. I can just stop and take whatever comes my way and try to find a little happiness in it. I deserve it. If I can't have a family, then I can have friends. You think a baby makes us a family? We already are a family, Davy. You and me. It's about us. It's just us. Want from me, Paul? I just want to ride on the river with you in the middle of the night.
Lucy. Hi. Hey. Is everything all right? Once I drink this, it will be. Hey. Hey, don't cry. Come with me. Nice car. It's a loner. My boyfriend. Glenn? Glenn got arrested, and I couldn't bail him out, but his ex-girlfriend could, so he left me. You must think I'm the biggest loser. No. You want to hear something sad? He proposed to me in the Speedy Dog drive through so instead of champagne, we celebrated with a number three. He never even gave me a ring. You know, I should have a ring to throw in his face or something. I am a total loser. I have screwed up my life and nobody wants me. Who wouldn't want you? Time for bed. Aren't you going to pray for me? I'm done praying for you, Mr. Arendal. Why is that? If having your own grandson reach out to you isn't enough to make you get down on your knees before God Almighty, nothing ever will be. You're going to die, Mr. Arendal. Stiff-necked and hard-hearted. And I'm done praying for you. I never told you I had a little girl, did I? Mm -mm. My wife and I had a beautiful, perfect little girl, Abby. When she was two years old, she was diagnosed with ALL, kind of uh, leukemia. You know, those chemotherapy would she was just so young. Christine wanted to see another doctor, but I just... I told her we should do it. The treatment. About a week into the chemo, Abby got an infection. And she went into a coma. Two days later, she died. I just never got a chance. I never got a chance to tell her that I was sorry for doing that to her, you know? She's so young. I mean, how does a two-year-old understand that you were just doing what you thought was best for her, you know?
Will you do me a favor? Can we just... Can we just stay here for a minute? Just... At least till I fall asleep. Mercy upon me, God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. You got me, you son of a bitch. Forgive me. For all of it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sun's up. <laughs> I don't think I've talked to anybody all night before. <sighs> Will you take me back to Davies? Yeah. Unless... Could we go to your place? <sighs> Sorry, stupid me. No. It's, thanks for asking. You have no idea. I don't believe this. What is he doing here? Lucy. Can I call you? Yeah. 
call me. What do you want? My grandfather's missing. He's got Alzheimer's. He's not here, is he? No, he's not here. Did he take his car? No, no, it's in the garage. Well, then he couldn't have gone far. Davy! I'll get Alex and um, call 911. Thank you. Nowhere else to look. I've been everywhere. Clay. Found him down by the river. Then the angel showed me the river of water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and out the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. For the Lord God will give them light. bit of advice about the tetrazzini throw it out <laughs> yeah I will so you heard from Paul yeah come with me why Davy Nance I never Paul's side of the bed isn't even cold yet you know what Luann Just an observation. I've got nothing. That's not true. No, please, Davy. I don't have a family. I don't have a wife. I don't have a daughter. I don't have a grandfather anymore. I hardly have a mother and a father. I'm one of those people you bring casseroles to. <laughs> no. Yeah, I am. What do I have, Davy? What do I have? You have me. Who needs to be washed clean of your sin? I invite you to come down front and 
Give your life to Jesus. Be baptized and become God's child. Set apart for the victorious and abundant life of the believer. Davy, honey, you've been baptized. You can sit back down. I have a complaint. Well, all right. Every Sunday you say, if we get baptized, we'll experience the victorious and abundant life. Yes? Well, I've been baptized since I was eight, and my life is not victorious or abundant. And I was just wondering if you could be more specific for those of us who aren't seeing the promised results. Davy, wouldn't you rather discuss this later in private? No. I mean, why bother? Everybody here knows I can't have children. My marriage is in shambles. I don't think anybody would call that victorious or abundant. Uh, God's will, you see, is full of complexities. So, all this is God's will. Well, theologically speaking, there's a, the, the perfect will and the manifest will of God. Forgive me, but why is it when you people don't know the answer to a question, you still feel compelled to open up your mouth and speak? Davy, can you wait? I'm sorry for what's happened to you. I, I just want you to know that I don't believe that it's God's will. Well, you're in the minority. Davy, I don't know everything, but I do know that there's more at work in this world besides God's will. Um, there's good. And there's evil, I believe, too. And there's our will. It's a very powerful force, too. And we all ask why. But once you get past all that, the question is, Whose hands are you going to put yourself in? Are you going to jump in the river or stay on the bank? I know how you feel. I jumped in the river and look where it's gotten me. I mean, God sent me to a town where, where all the pretty women were taken, I thought. <laughs> and, and those people sit in there every Sunday like they've been hit on the head with a hammer. And where I may never get to preach a sermon. But in spite of everything, I know he sent me here. So I keep going, trusting that somehow it's all going to make sense. So you're saying that I should work it out with Paul? It's your decision to make, not mine. But no matter what you do, Davy, remember, there's grace in the river and on the bank. Does anybody else have a question? Reverend Greason, sit down.
I don't know. I think I can do this. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, I'm okay. Is Davy here? What? No. Everybody knows she's here, Clay. So could you tell her I need to talk to her, please? Davy, you might want to come down here. Davy, and yeah, what? I need for you to take Isaac. Okay. All right. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just, I need for you to take him. Okay. Davy, for good. What? I can't. Um, uh, I'm back with Glenn. Lucy's Glenn. Yeah. Uh, they broke up, and uh, he's not ready for children, and... Davy, I, I can't do it anymore. Um, I'm sorry. Would you please just take him? Because I know in my heart that you'll do what's best for him, no matter what. <laughs> Child services closed on Sunday. Yeah, that's okay. Not the way I've done before. Okay, that's going to be a wet one. I'm going to grab the diaper. Okay. Oh. There we go, little mm. dude. That is exactly how you like it, isn't it? You got it? Yeah. Your own personal little jacuzzi there, buddy. Hey. Aww. You're really good with him. Uh, I've done it before. Slept all night. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. What? You're amazing. Could keep him. We could start over. 
forever. The three of us together. Or just you and me. I can't go down that road again. I just... I can't. I can't let him go. Cause it was you Dancing around 